Hello everyone, I am representing group 5 and our topic for the presentation is image classification using recurrent neural network. Coming to the code implementation part, our first step is to import the required libraries. So we will be mainly using the LSTM and simple RNN models uh, for uh, doing this presentation and we are importing this from the tensorflow library and we are also importing a few other important libraries such as numpy and matplotlib for for uh, plotting various figures next step we are importing the our data set so we are making use of mnist handwritten data set so we are using this we are importing and splitting our data set in as training images and testing images and similarly training labels this will be contain the our output and similarly test output so we have splitted our data set into training data set and testing data set now we'll apply few pre-processing techniques onto our data set so we will be applying normalization because our images will have 0 to 255 pixel values but we will normalize those values so as to reduce our computations we will be reducing the pixel values between 0 and 1 in this way we will uh, we'll be able to reduce a lot of computations and uh, here we are uh, specifying one list will uh, which will have like 0 1 2 for uh, zero digit one digit like this up to nine digits we are giving them as class names okay simply we are uh, converting those numbers into category categories now we will uh, look into our data set so our shape of our training images is 60,028 by 28 uh, our image uh, the input image is 28 pixel by 28 pixel that is why it is 28 by 28 and it has got 60,000 images for the training sample similarly we have got 28 by 28 pixel values for the test images but here we have got 10,000 samples for the test test images and now here we will be going through our training images training image so here one by one I am plotting few of the sample images which are there in the training images so you can see this this is our training images all these handwritten digits okay N uh, now coming to the model part so we have considered three different models so in the first model we are considering it as simple rnn so it will as you can see it has only one simple rnn layer with 100 units of 100 units and here we are specifying the input shape that is 28 by 28 pixel and in the end we are up, uh, we are adding dense layer with activation function as softmax because it's a multi class classification that is why we are using the uh, softmax activation function in the same way we have made model 2 and which will have one layer of lstm with 100 units and s in the end we are all uh, here also we are adding the dense layer with activation function softmax and in model 3 we are adding multiple layers of lstm you can see here first layer of lstm is here with 128 units second layer of lstm 128 units and finally we are adding the dense the fully connected layer and we have applied few dropouts to overcome the problem of overfitting and in the end as usual we have applied softmax for multiply multi-class classification uh, with this command we are able to see the summary of our model so this is model 1 it has only simple rnn see model 2 it has one layer of lstm and model 3 it has multiple layers of stm lstm along with dropout so it will give us the number of tra uh, trainable parameters you can see here so for the model number 3 we have got lot many trainable parameters 
now after this once we have built our models we'll compile them so we are using adam optimizer um, as it is a very good optimizer and it's mostly used it's mostly used generally used that is why we are using here and uh, metrics is accuracy will be evaluating our models on accuracy parameter and loss function we have specified is categorical cross entropy function because we have categorical um, as uh, our output now we will run our uh, will train our model with our training images and we will also provide our validation that is test data set so as to calculate accuracy score for the training data set as well as testing data set so once we run this command once we this run this uh, commands so you can see uh, it will run up to 10 epochs we have specified 10 epochs so you will get this uh, this is here accuracy for the training data set and accuracy for the testing data set so at the end for model 1 we are getting around 0.96 accuracy and for uh, testing accuracy we are getting as 0.96 so here we are not facing any problem of overfitting for model 2 similarly for model 2 we are getting accuracy training accuracy around 0.99 it's a very good accuracy and uh, testing accuracy as 0.99 it's also very good accuracy and for uh, model 3 uh, here also we are getting around 0.99 and testing accuracy also 0.99 so if we compare model 1 model 2 model 3 uh, model 3 is performing the best out of all these three models we have plotted few curves which uh, which which is representing training accuracy and validation accuracy this blue curve is training accuracy and this is validation accuracy as function of epochs as number of epochs increases our accuracy uh, reaches around 0.98 or 0.99 as we have seen above so there is not much a difference so our uh, our model is not suffering from overfitting and now in this part we are doing our prediction so uh, we, uh, to our model we will specify give our test images and let's see if our model is able to give us the prediction so if you run this um, uh, our model will give you the predictions see here predictions and we are plotting so uh, for this image it is giving output as 7 so we are good it is giving the uh, percentage like confidence score also okay mm, for few images like this it's getting confused whether it's 5 or 6 so that is why it's not giving 100 percent it's it's getting confused between 5 and 6 it's giving um, more percentage more confidence to 5 so it's classifying this image as 5 okay uh, and suppose if you want to uh, do prediction for one single image so any image you can give the uh, give input to our model and it will give you predictions so here for uh, to, to one single image we will expand the dimension okay uh, expand the dimension first okay because uh, our model is able to do prediction for a batch so we are expanding the dimension so you can see here uh, for the, our image input image it is classifying as 6 so if you see here this is our input image and this is our output so we are pretty much good with our model it's giving us good good predictions to our model so this was all about uh, our presentation on image classification using rnn thank you very much for your time thank you